Hello, the Meister, and welcome back to more Lego Harry Potter. Hope I haven't said Lego Indiana Jones yet, but it's Lego Harry Potter years one through four, and I have said if I had said Lego Indiana Jones too, I do apologize. So anyway, today we're gonna start year two. So this is bit, obviously this is the Chamber of Secrets movie that we're basing this off of. Again, more problems with the Dursleys, as always. Very angry muggles, no magic. At least, I mean, he's at least aware of the magic. At the very least. And, of course, in this year, we get a very fun and special character. Our friend, Dolby. Dolby the house elf. Right now, it's just a bit of a nuisance. Doesn't want Harry to go back to Hogwarts. And Harry's like, yes, I need to go. Uh, and Dobby's like, no, I'm not. And Dobby's like, yes, no, you can't. And Harry's like, yes, I shall. And Dobby's like, no, I can't. And they just kind of argue back and forth a little bit. No, the, the, yeah, the, the Dursleys are holding a are holding a uh, dinner for some. I can't remember if it's bosses or if they're a client or something. But he he's holding this holding this business dinner essentially in his home. And Dobby's making a mess of things for Harry in that manner because Dobby drops the cake on the lady. All right, in the movie, she, he drops the cake. <laughs> Here, he just throws it in her face. And Dobby goes poof, leaving a very out of sorts Harry to now be locked in his room. Literally, bars on the walls. Security fence. I don't remember ever seeing the security fence. <laughs> Maybe they did it just for the for the game. Now, or the matter that you know they just throw off the entire wall. Now, mind you, originally Harry has to help a friend George, or Ron has to help a friend George. It's just Ron at this point. And so you're flying home to the burrow. It's gonna be Harry and oh, that part I remember. But it's gonna be Harry and Ron at the burrow to start out the year two game. Crash. The way Ron drives, do you think the car had been destroyed by now? Even before they got here. And yeah, technically it's oh, there's Molly. Molly is very Molly is angry, of course, because you know, kids out of bed. There's Jenny, who's got a crush on Harry. Uh, and looks like we're gonna have to do some chores before we can go inside. So welcome to year two. How is? Oh. That is a score because we just made some points on a gnome. That means see Harry is, or Ginny is got a crush on young Master Harry here. And where you show you fly? You fly into the pond. Oh yeah, because we're gnome throwing. That's I don't think that's actually I don't remember that being. No, that is not covered in the movie now, I think, but it's actually only in the game. And in the books, they do the gnome throwing. So that's a, that one's a nice little touch. Because they have, they have a gnome issue at the house. Here at the burrow. The gnomes are just a general nuisance. Of course, I don't know why they sound like panting dogs, but whatever. There's flowers I could destroy. Nope. Pick you up and throw you. Oh. It's not a it's not a gremlin under the hood. It's a gnome. That's what's powering it. It's a gnome. We'll ride that mower in a minute, cause. Looks like we do have some things we need to take down. No, we can't take down magically. 
We'll build the pumpkin machine too while we're at it. I think it looks like a pumpkin could be more of a tomato. I don't really know. I do think actually it's pumpkin because we get in close it. It looks like a pumpkin or an apple. That carrot just took off into space. We got two po We got three points of the deal for taking the basket with the no. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little flabby. My apologies. <coughs> My big green tractor. I got a saddle on my horse and I ride into the city. I'm wait. This isn't a country song. This is a Harry Potter game. Launch them carrots into space. Studs. Oh yeah, that's right. Circle it back up. It's at least a little easier to drive in this game. A little bit easier. They don't drop studs. Looks like I thought I fired him off, but no, I didn't do this one yet because I think I just went through. Two Hogwarts crests already. There's at least one either a character. I think that's a character model actually. Not yeah, character model, character token. They're called tokens. I think that's all I can do out here in the burrow yard. So let's head inside. Take care of a few things inside. Of course, we get a, we'll have a bunch of studs to collect in here. If we let loose Errol. We'll put the sink back together. So the dishes wash themselves. And then there's the home. Of course, you gotta set the table. There we go. Of course, the plant goes to the gnome. Check under the couch for some change. Move the chair over by the fire. There's Jenny. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> I think that's all I can do in the little burrow kitchen. Let's go. Travel by flu. <laughs> Throw the flu bottle, the, the flu powder at me. Light it up. And now we'll, Terry's gonna take a pinch. Or no, sorry, Ron's gonna take a pinch. He's gonna say, Diagon Alley. And away he goes. Harry, who's never done this before, is now gonna take a pinch himself. And he's gonna say, Jerry. 
<laughs> and they're like, oh, where is that supposed to take him? And he missed, the, he, he went to the wrong, the wrong shoot. Uh, he is now, uh, not in Diagon Alley. He is in Nocturne Alley. A very most not reputable place for a young wizard mm. such as Harry. My hand back. Big dude. Beard. It's Hagrid! Mm. Hi, Hagrid. Can I have my hand back? Oh. Hey, Hagrid. Mm. Much appreciated. Ha. Yeah, so now, since Harry was originally normally alone in this section, we now get Hagrid as our companion partner. There's so much screaming here. Hagrid, why is there screaming? Never mind, maybe don't answer that. Can I go down here? I can. Oh. There's a dark match go up here in this trunk. Blocks I need a reducto for. Clean the mirror a little bit. Of course, reveals something most interestante. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by a while. Baby, my eyes are fine. Alright, so let's take care of a little more here. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone in the bed telephone and tell me I'm your own. Sorry, I had to, I had to finish. There we go. There's some. There's a fair amount of studs. Another dark magical cavity. Sorry, I don't know why I'm all of a sudden seeing uh, Michigan J. Frog songs from Looney Tunes, but that's where we're at. Oh, there's the Fangs from earlier, which actually makes a sword. Because now we have to give the sword and Harry, we're trying to give Harry to the to the wizard fighting the dragon. Which we get a key. Key, please. That door back into what is known as Nocturne Alley. Okay, I'm trying to. Destroy a few things here. <laughs> like being able to get the heck out of dodge. Good start. Of course, the chest folds in on itself. Turn on the light. On the name of Lightning Studs. Cause that's what this is all about after all collecting the studs. I believe something. What oh it's a spider! What, what did I blow up? Can I do that? Let's find out. Harry! Can you do it, Harry? No. Looks like that one's stuck behind a wall of darkness. At least the door of dark magic. 
Not quite enough room. We got a character token, which is Harry in a sweater. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a lot of stuff to do, because I guess I gotta be able to grab all these things. I'm thankful I can head back in here. See if there's anything else I've missed destroying. It's in there. Nope, looks like I just. <clears throat> excuse me. Destroyed everything! That I can get Harry's hands on. Which is a shame, because it's right there! I think this actually ends the episode. Eh? Yep. So now we're back from Nocturne to Diagon, and we learn of a certain celebrity at signing books in Borgen and Burks. And so now we've got, you know. Hagrid, or not here, uh, Draco and his father Lucius, and thank you Arthur for stepping in between. Oh hey look, I have a special book that we just got handed, and everyone else is none the wiser. Oh, it's love complete, and the Chamber of Secrets first section. We got Sweater Harry, we got two of the house crests. The third one just taunting us because we don't have a dark magic user. Again, failed in the true user gathering status, which kind of upsets me a little bit. I feel maybe once we get all the characters we necessarily need, we'll work on it. Yeah, we didn't even find a student in peril this time. All right, but we're going to end the episode there. Thanks so much for watching. Next time, we're going to continue on tomorrow with more of Lego Harry Potter years one through four. And until then, I'm the Bowmeister, and as always, I have been obediently yours.